Welcome to the Chief's Way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. Hello, YouTube. Today we're going to do a video on how much electrical energy or how much power it takes to run the furnace portion of your air conditioning on your emergency power system. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button in order to help the channel out. Right now we're running the furnace portion only of the air conditioning. The air conditioning unit outside is not running, but just the furnace portion off of the emergency power system. You see it's plugged in right here. The tan cable, that tan cable comes over here and plugs into this easy generator switch. It's a, uh, a way to switch from uh, normal power to generator. So while we're doing that, we can see that we're making 31 amps out of uh, the panels, which is about, you know, 440-ish watts. But we're still drawing 80 two watts 83 watts from the battery or about six amps from the battery so we're still just a, a few amps short of running it completely off of solar see now we're up to 505 watts coming from the panels and we have an additional 18 watts that we're pulling from the battery so it looks like the furnace overall is using you know approximately 525 watts okay our air conditioning is running it's the middle of the day right around the peak time so let's see what kind of current we're making okay out of our panels we're making 34.8 you know 34 and a half to 34 point almost up to 35 uh, amps now okay the power we're making is around 519 522 and let's see what's going on over here at our battery you can see that we're hovering right around zero zero watts in and out so basically our battery is virtually full almost it's almost full and uh we're making enough power from our panels to run the air conditioning. So we're not using any battery right now. We're hovering right around zero. See, zero plus one watt, minus one watt, zero. So we're making enough power. And we're making enough power at almost 35 amps to run our air conditioning. Just the furnace portion, not the outdoor air conditioning. It's just the internal furnace portion. Okay, it's nighttime now and the air conditioning is running. We can see up here on our charge controller that, I mean, our panel light is out. So we're not getting any power in. We see zero amps. So if we go down here and check our battery monitor, You'll see that we're pulling 40 amps from the battery or 527 watts. So that's pretty much what we were seeing during the day. We were making about 520, 521 watts from the panels and it was pretty much powering the, uh, the furnace portion of our air conditioning. The way you power your furnace using a generator or an emergency power station using this easy generator switch and I'll put a link in the, in the description of uh, how you could get it you see up on top it's got a 15 amp breaker and that attaches to the generator input and then there's a three-way toggle switch top is generator middle is off and bottom is normal okay so when you're just running off grid power you have the switch down on the normal position when your power goes out and you run to run your furnace you switch it from grid to off you always stop it off and then up to generator 
and then this input right here is coming from your generator. Now the normal way your furnace is wired is your power comes down this conduit from your grid, from your main power panel, and comes down into the service switch, the cutoff switch, and then goes from there down and to power your furnace. Well, when you install this easy generator switch, what you do is you take the power that comes in, you remove it from the service switch, and you take the hot and the neutral and connect it to the hot and neutral line of the easy generator switch. And then out of the easy generator switch, you have what they label the load hot and neutral line. Those come out, the hot comes over and now goes through your service connect switch and back in to power your furnace and then the neutral goes right in and powers your furnace and then all the grounds connect together. Alright, now that we've seen how to run your furnace uh, portion of your air conditioner on your uh, emergency power station, let's see what kind of uh, you know, power it was making. So we're going to start over here to the first four day test I ran from 9 to 12 July. We can see all the data here from each day. Now when we got down in here it was kind of having a lot of cloudy days. That's why the numbers are a little bit lower. And then we'll see here on the last day, it was a sunny day and we made a little, quite a bit of power. But then at the end of the test, uh, we had to put another 174 amp hours into the battery. Because to run the test, you gotta have a full battery at the start and a full battery at the end. And we measure how many amp hours we did over the entire time so it was 768 amp hours <clears throat> divide that by four so it was 192 amp hours a day and as far as power total power was 998 watt hours or an average of 2497 watt hours per day and the temperature average was 82 so i did a second three-day period so i have a full week of data that was from the 29th to the 31st of July. See, we made 120 amp hours the first day, 211, 222, and then we had to add that extra 38 amp hours to get the battery full again so we can uh, see how much energy we used over the, the three days. So it came to 591 amp hours, or an average of 197. Remember, in the first one, we at an average of 192. So during the second test, we used uh, five more amp hours per day. And the uh, average power was 2,570, which was very similar to what we had on the first time. And the temperature was actually exactly the same, 82 degrees. So we can see our test average was 195 amp hours per day, 220, 2,213 watt hours and are for 82 degrees. So if you're planning a system and you're planning on running the furnace portion of your air conditioner off your uh, solar emergency power, you would have to run the actual outdoor air conditioning compressor off of a generator. <clears throat> Unless you got like, you know, 7,000 watts of uh, solar power on your roof, you probably won't be able to run the air conditioning outside. So, all right, thank you YouTube. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification button and we'll see you next time.